Yeah, would you mind hitting the windows? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, come on in. Come on in. That's Robert, Charles, Walter, and Lydia. Thanks for coming in. Oh, of course. Uh, Andy, before we begin, uh, I'd just like to say that everyone in this room is your friend. I know that, Charles. More than your friend, family. Charles, I must apologize again for the Highline mishap yesterday. That, that was some scary moment around here. <laughs> wow, thank God the, the complaint was found and, and no damage was done. This time, what about next time? There won't be a next time, I guarantee it. It's just that uh, something's come over you lately, Andy. I don't know. Some kind of stupor, uh, fogginess. Uh... Some people think you have an attitude problem, Beckett. Really? Who thinks that? I do. Excuse me. Am I being fired? Let me put it this way, Andy. Your place in the future of this firm is no longer secure. We feel it isn't fair to keep you here when your prospects are limited. And now, uh, I don't want to rush you out of here. We've got a committee meeting. Wait, excuse me, Charles. With all due respect, this, this is preposterous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're right, Beckett. You don't have an attitude problem. Take it easy, Walter. If you had lost confidence in me, why'd you give me the Highline suit? Andy, you nearly blew the entire case, for Christ's sakes. That alone is inexcusable. It would have been catastrophic for us. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>